What is up guys, Collector Chaos here, back with some more Quid content. This time I'm looking at my 2022 year in review on Quid. This is really cool that they've put this out. This is the first year they've done this, so I have not gone through this yet. I'm really excited to check it out. So let's hop right into it. I got 135 lows in pack openings this year, it says. Do I remember these? And let's replay some of these. Season two, episode 10. Not quite remember which low I got here. Let's check this out. We got the nice animation here. And nice, that was a great pack actually. A 15 out of 500 and a number three. Very good. Let's keep going. Pack openings, number ones. It says I pulled two number ones this year. The Stonk Wars Dogebris Common Award. That was a great one to pull. I do have a full video of pulling that award. That was a sick moment. And also this new era hologram three card pack. Let's go ahead and replay this one because I don't think I caught this on video before. Oh yes, definitely a great pack with the Wen hologram number one of 500. Yeah, beautiful card there. Super stoked to have gotten that one. Cool to see a replay of it. So let's continue. I got two shinies this year. Of course, I just did that Deadables video. Really nice shiny in that pack. And I forget the Star Trek Discovery shiny. Let's check and see which one I pulled from here. And it was the Anson and Mary shiny second edition interesting but still very nice to get a shiny print or two this year let's keep going pack openings awards I opened 45 awards in 2022 that's crazy actually I do think I have videos of all of these openings on the channel so I won't bore you guys with replaying them but 45 is not bad for set completions it says I collected 12,520 prints this year that's pretty crazy and I completed a total of 327 sets. I wasn't really working super hard to complete sets, but I think that's some pretty good progress there. Pretty cool. Whoa, 97 chases and 47 awards for checklists this year. For sales, I nearly sold 2,500 items this year, which is pretty good for a total of $550. Definitely a huge thanks to my top buyers, Callum2556, that guy's a legend, MJ's Kid, and Phoenix, of course, one of the top Star Trek collectors. Very, very cool. Highest price item I sold, of course, is that Smurfs Sia Award. I also sold this number one for just a little more than I bought it for. And I definitely could have got more for that Anna Karenina print, but was just trying to get rid of that one. Another section here for my top cash flips. Made a bit of a profit on that Gulliver's Travels number one. And weirdly enough, that Apple was a first edition, I recall, which makes it a bit better of a sale. So pretty cool. Let's keep going. Wow, I purchased 4,000 listings this year, total of $800. So I definitely put more into the market than I got. 826 different sellers. Very cool. I definitely spent the most on Pickle Cinder's items. They were selling a ton of nice Star Trek items. So this is a cool one here. And my top purchases... Definitely my favorite one is that nice Star Trek Saratoga hologram number one. I got for a little less than $10. I think that was a good buy. I didn't make any withdrawals this year. I was just putting my money back into the quid economy. But I think next year, I definitely want to make a video showing that you can withdraw. It says I created 215 storyboards, but most of those are, there was a bug that would automatically create them for listed items. This Arrested Development one is one I actually made to promote my last video well that was a ton of fun to check out my 2022 year in review with quid really cool that they did this i think a lot of people like seeing stuff like this and having a nice little recap of the year thank you guys very much for watching and you all have a great 2023 as well see you in the next one